I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. <laughs> I'm not your boy toy. Boy toy. When I was around seven, eight years old, I saw WWE, and I saw a guy by the name of Shawn Michaels. And something about his charisma, something about the way he carried himself, something about the way he dressed, which you think I'm seven, eight years old. I had never seen something like that before. <laughs> like, and, and the way he flew around the ring, I knew the minute I saw Shawn Michaels that I have to do that. I have to do that. Sean's outfits were not like anything I'd ever seen before. That's freaking cool right there. <laughs> I loved it. And he was just so colorful and so flamboyant and so different. He stood out. And I think that was the main thing that drew me in was the energy. Just the way he presented himself. That pit bull-like mentality, that little bulldog-like mentality of that never backing down, never giving up, the consummate underdog. I know many times I danced around my house to Sexy Boy. So many times. My parents are probably sick of the song Sexy Boy by now. I owe a lot of my dancing moves today to the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. I think that's the only dance move I got is like the little like the little sexy boy dance. I think that's all I have now. It's because of Sean, so I'll have to thank him for that later. I'm the showstopper, the main of it, the icon of the kids. My mom actually full-on painted Shawn Michaels on my wall of my room when I was growing up. So every day, I'd wake up and I'd see Shawn Michaels' face. And she did a fantastic job. She killed it. She would make these outfits and paint them up to where I'd be walking around SummerSlam 1996 and different people would take pictures. Like, can we take a picture of your son? Because I was full-on Shawn Michaels. I was Shawn Michaels for many Halloweens. If you're not a wrestling fan and you see a little eight-year-old boy walking around dressed like that, you definitely think, wow, these parents let this little eight-year-old boy walk around like a male stripper. <laughs> the boyhood dream has come true for Shawn Michaels. WrestleMania 12, when Shawn Michaels beat Bret Hart in the Iron Man match. For me, being a chubby little eight-year-old kid, seeing that guy go out there and defy those odds, it's inspiring. That is the defining moment of my childhood. And luckily enough for me, I got to kind of replicate that at TakeOver New York, where I finally won the NXT Championship. The dream of a boy becomes a reality for the man. I had a little homage to Sean on my gear. The little Easter egg here is this was actually similar to the fabric Shawn Michaels used at WrestleMania 12 with the gold and the silver. So a little shout out to Shawn in that one. And I believe there's a picture afterwards where it's me and my whole family with me with the title and Shawn. It's such an interesting picture because it's basically my whole family and just Shawn like a proud little <laughs> proud guy. Let's take a look at TakeOver. We'll watch it and I'll scull you. Okay. <laughs> a skull session is when you sit down and watch film and kind of dissect it. Maybe you should have spaced yeah. it out a little more. Yeah. It's very, very intimidating because here's this guy you look up to your entire life, and now he's going to watch your work, and he's going to dissect it. He's going to tell you what you did right and what you did wrong. Very good adjustment on him. His ladder is not landing in the best yeah. spot. As someone who doesn't like watching his own matches, now to watch them with your childhood hero is a nightmare. <laughs> but Sean's great. And he only made a lot of us better. The thing as the Google happens. He used to be my childhood hero. Now he's kind of just my friend. So did you have any say in this? Like, did you put input in on your gear? I wanted to do chaps. I wanted to do some kind of hat. And that's the crazy thing about life is how it worked out and where we're at now. It's just it's wild. The dream come true. That was freaking good. Cool. I mean, and you boom. I can safely say if it wasn't for Shawn Michaels, I probably wouldn't be where I am at today. Who knows, if I didn't see Shawn Michaels on the screen that day, there may not be a Johnny Gargano. It's as simple as that, you just don't know.